What's up, V Gang? So it's fall now and pumpkins in season, but we don't need another one of those pumpkin pie recipes. It's been done to death. But you know what else has been done to death? Pumpkin buns. But whatever, man, I'm still gonna make it anyways. But I'll make it interesting and put a Chinese whole food vegan twist to it. So the buns are made with whole wheat flour and the filling is pretty much a combination of dates and black sesame. Just, you know, very simple, um, healthy ingredients and you won't have to feel shitty about eating a sweet snack. Anyways, let's chit chat more chop chop. Let me show you how to make it. I'm gonna get started by making the filling first by toasting some black sesame seeds. The ones I'm using here are already toasted, but it's still good to heat them up in the oven anyways, just so it's easier to grind them into a paste. Bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit until they're fragrant. Once they're toasted, grind them up with a mortar and pestle while the seeds are still hot. If you don't have a mortar or you just want to save time, you can just blend the seeds up in a blender, but the product isn't going to be as fine and pasty compared to grinding it. For the dates, I'm blending it up in a food processor with just enough water to get it running smoothly. Add the date paste to the black sesame. Season with salt and mix it up. Form 8 portions of sesame balls weighing roughly 50 grams each. I'm going to keep them in the fridge while I start working on the dough. I'm going to need to make some pumpkin puree for the dough. Peel the pumpkin and chop it up into small pieces. Now there are two ways of cooking it. The proper way is to steam it but I'm just going to use the easier and much faster way which is to microwave it. This takes literally 6 minutes to cook until very soft. Mash it into a puree with a fork. Or if you want to get it super smooth then feel free to just blend it up in the blender. Weigh out 300 grams of puree. This will be the hydration for the dough and you won't need to add any more water to it. Add the rest of the dry ingredients and mix it into a ball of dough. Knead the dough until it's smooth and springy. As a side note here, try to minimize the use of extra flour to dust the surface. Roll it into a log and cut it up into 8 portions weighing roughly 80 grams each. Roll it into a ball and create a disc by flattening out the edges with a rolling pin.
Notice how I'm keeping a lot of volume in the middle of the disc here. This is to make sure that the dough is evenly distributed around the filling. Seal up the edges around the sesame ball by pinching them together and rolling it into a smooth ball. Transfer to a steamer basket lined with parchment and allow them to proof for an hour. Now depending on the size of your steamer, you'll most likely have to proof and steam them in separate batches. Steam over simmering water for about 15 minutes. Turn off the heat and allow it to rest for 5 minutes. These guys are best served warm 